Hello, good evening, everyone. I hope everyone is able to listen to me. So welcome to Nextulo. I'm Dr. Rajendra Punya. I'm the faculty of radiology for the Nextulo platform. And first, I would like to thank Dr. Sunil for providing us such an opportunity and providing us such a good platform for all the students and FMG aspirants and other students who are preparing for other competitive exams. They have provided us such a uh, platform next to you so that we can clear up the exams. We can get our success story done. So let's welcome. So today is our topic is, wait for a second. So today our topic is chest X-ray. Okay. So what we are going to do, we are going to oh, wait for a second. Just wait. Okay. What we are going to do, well, how we are going to approach a chest X-ray as chest X-ray is one of the most common modality of X-rays what we are seeing. So our approach will be, first we will see a normal thing because it's an, it's an well-known thing until unless you are not able to see a normal thing, you will not be able to differentiate that this thing is abnormal. Okay. So let's start with how we are going to read an X-ray. We are going to look at the technical aspect of an X-ray. And after that, we are going to see what are the various pathologies. So in this lecture, I'm going to teach you how to read an X-ray. As we students, we do have a tendency Ki, sir, uh, this is this, this is this pathology. But like in 10% cases, 20%, 30% cases, you could be right. But we all are doctors. You are studying to be a good doctor. When you are sitting in an emergency, you should know how to look for each and every pathology. You should know that. Okay. So let's start. Let's think like a radiologist. Okay. I will tell you how to read how to get to the diagnosis and a correct diagnosis. Okay, let's start. So first of all, uh, we are going to look for the attenuation of an X-ray view. Students, how an X-ray is formed? Okay, just think, think about that. X-ray tube is there. This is an X-ray tube. This is the patient and this is the film. Okay, X-ray are going to come out of the tube, hit the patient, penetrate the patient and get to the Film. So we get a black and white image. But why it is like that? Ki something is looking black, something is looking white. So it is due to attenuation of X ray beam. For example, this is my hand. X ray is going through it. What is out here? There is air. So when X ray will pass through the air, as the density of air is very less. So maximum amount of X-ray is going to the film. And when more amount of X-ray reach to the film, it will be more black. Remember this, more X-ray reaching to the film, more black. Less amount of X-ray reaching to the film, it will be white. Remember that, okay? Now, first think about that. How does the bone looks? Why they do appear white? Because bones are dense as compared to the surrounding soft tissue, bones are dense. So there will be more attenuation means they are going to stop the X-rays. Less amount of X-ray is going to reach the film. So less amount of X-ray will reach the film. It means it will appear white. That's why bone appear white. Same concept with the barium contrast like barium studies, you must have seen esophagogram and others. So that taste is dense. That barium is quite dense. So it will attenuate more X-ray. So less amount of X-ray will reach the film part and it will appear white. Okay. Now compare bone to a lung part. Lung part contain most of the part of lung parenchyma, soft tissue and the air. So X-ray can easily penetrate it and more amount of X-ray will reach. So it will appear black. So just look at this, the tube uh, tissue reabsorption as the air or the gas is least reabsorption will possible. What does it uh, mean? Ki least reabsorption means more amount of X-ray will reach to the film. So it will appear black. Okay. Now come to the fat. Fat is a way denser. So it will cause some more reabsorption. 
and maximum with the bone or calcium. So they will appear white. Okay, concept clear? Now, next, what are the chest radiographs views? So commonly what we see in our general practice is the PA view, posterior anterior view. What does it mean by posterior anterior? It means X-rays, these X-rays are entering posteriorly, okay? Exiting anteriorly and film is on the anterior side of the body, posterior to anterior, they are entering. Okay, same lateral, we can see what is happening. Now, anterior posterior, here the rays, the X-rays are entering from anterior part of the body, the film on which we will going to get the image, the receptor for X-rays is quad posterior to the body. Okay. Now, the next is lateral decubitus. What's the name is suggesting? That the position will be lateral. Okay. Lateral position, but decubitus. The patient will be lying. Okay. As the name suggests, let's go for the next. First is the posterior anterior position. Uh, if you are going to see 10 x-rays in your like in your practice if you are pursuing medicine are you going for a medical officer or even for your any exams whatever in your general practice eight to seven to eight x-rays out of your 10 are going to be the posterior anterior position x-rays okay as it is a standard position for obtaining a routine adult chest radiograph jo aapko normally milta hai, that is a pa position any adult that can, until unless there is an emergency, PA position X-rays are the best X-rays to look for lung pathology. Okay, understood? Now, what happens here? Patient straight upright with the anterior chest wall against the front of the film. I have already told you, posterior to anterior. Now, what happens when the patient is sitting like this, okay, or standing like this? What, what is happening if the uh, rays are going from the behind? Actually, the scapulas are lying out there. Okay. If bones are there, as the bones are dense, so we will not able to see this part of the lung that are overlying by this scapulas. So what we are going to do? We are going to ask the patient to do this so that scapula can be removed. Okay. So shoulders are rotated forward. Okay, shoulders are rotated forward so that scapulas as in, when they rotate the shoulder, the scapulas will move like this and we will able to see whole of the lung part. Okay, one more thing. These kind of uh, x-rays are always taken in full inspiration. What is the concept behind full inspiration? Uh, just, just think about it. Uh, we are looking in, in PA x-ray, we are looking for the lung folds. Okay. What if the patient is not in full inspiration? Some part of lung will not be, we will not able to see some part of the lung due to poor inspiration. So a pathology which is lying in that part of lung could be obscured. Okay, that's why we take the patient in the full inspiration. Okay, now let's move to the next. This is how you can take an X-ray. And this what you're seeing on your screen is a PA chest. Okay, this is the position of the patient. You can see posteriorly the uh, X-rays are going, entering the patient from posterior and the anterior chest wall is connected to the, or it adjacent to the film. Okay, now next is the AP position. It is only used in the patient when patient is deliberated, immobilized, unable to cooperate with the PA procedure. Okay. Here, the, as the name suggests, X-rays are going to enter from anteriorly to posteriorly. So the film will be posterior to the patient. So film will be patient uh, placed behind the patient's back with the patient in the supine position. It can be taken in the uh, sitting position also, but generally these kind of patients which are admitted cannot move, cannot stand. In these kind of patients, generally the film is put uh, beside the uh, back. Okay, this is how it's taken. Now, one more thing is that because the heart is anteriorly and we are taking the rays like this. So that's why heart is at a greater distance from the film as compared to the PA. So heart appear a bit magnified in these. Okay. Scapula in PA view, you are doing the maneuver. We are rotating the shoulders anteriorly. 
So in that scenario, we are able to remove the scapula. But when the patient is lying down, we can't do anything. Okay, so the scapula will be visible in the lung fills as they are not rotated out of the view as in the PA view. Okay. Now, look at the first image. The patient first image is what we are talking about in a patient which are admitted or which are not able to move. So these kind of... Uh, the film is placed under the patient and in some scenarios when patient can able to sit, then we can take it in a sitting position. Okay. And look at this x-ray. Can you appreciate this? Uh, wait a minute. Can you appreciate these shadows? Can you see the shadows? These are the shadows of the scapula. Okay. Otherwise in PA view, there was no scapular shadow. Okay. Here there are scapular shadows. And when we are looking at the heart, it's looking a bit large of its true size just due to magnification as heart is anteriorly. Film is a bit posterior. When we are putting the film out here, okay, heart is anterior. We know that. So it's not causing any magnification. But when the film is posterior to the patient, so there is a difference between heart and the film. The increased distance, this is the reason of the magnification. Okay, that's why in the anterior posterior, there is a big magnification. Okay, now lateral decubitus position. As per the name suggests, okay, lateral decubitus as the patient is placed down. Okay, where is the use of this lateral decubitus position? It is actually useful in revealing pleural diffusion that cannot be easily uh, visualized in an upright view. Because lateral decubitus position is one of the best x-rays to look for the pleural effusion. Okay. Lateral decubitus position as the name suggests. Remember this. Now look at this x-ray. What is the position? Neither it is PA nor is AP. The patient is lying down. So this is lateral decubitus position. What is happening out here? Can you see in this part? Wait for a second. Uh, can you see this part? What is happening? This is a homogeneous radio opacity, okay, within level. Jaha pe fluid hota hai, it can make a level, okay. There is the pleural cavity, but when they're uh, like outside the lung, there are two layers of pleura and in between there can be fluid. That is called pleural effusion. So when the patient is in decubitus position, we are able to see this level. So what is this? This is a patient of pleural effusion, okay. Now move to the next one. Lateral position. How's the position? The patient stand upright with the left side of the chest against the film and arms raised over the head. Why it is important? Why it is required? Okay. In AP and PA, few areas are there in which we are not able to see. Like retrocardiac area behind the heart. When we are looking at an X-ray in a PA or AP way, we can see both sides of the lung, okay? Bilateral lung we can see, but there is an area behind the heart that is called the retrocardiac area. We can't appreciate that area because due to heart, it's appear, already it appear white. So there is a possibility that we can miss it. Other area is retrosternal area. That between the heart and sternum, there is some part that is called retrosternal area, okay? So due to that reason, it could be possible. Okay, so in case we are on AP view, we have any sort of suspicion, okay, what could be the position? So we can take help of the lateral view for the actual visualization of the position for the hidden areas, okay? Now, look at this. This is how it's taken, okay? The patient is rising hand above the head and uh, standing lateral to the front. Now, look at this part. Can you appreciate this part, students? This part, which I am saying, okay, this is retrosternal area. This is sternum, okay. This is retrosternal area, and this part is the shadow of heart, okay. And this part, which I am showing, is retrocardiac area, okay. Now, let's talk about the anatomy. When we are looking at an X-ray. How we will know ki what is abnormal until and unless we are able to find it, what is normal. Okay. So let's talk about the anatomy. And then we will talk 
कि हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू लुक फॉर एन एक्सरे सो दैट नेक्स्ट टाइम यू गॉट एन एक्सरे ना यू डोंट हैव टू थिंक लाइक कि सर इसमें डायग्नोसिस क्या है नहीं दिस इज नॉट अ राइट वे द राइट वे इज यू शुड नो हाउ टू रीड एन एक्सरे ओके because multiple times these kind of blunders have happened when you are sitting in your emergency duty as a intern or even as a uh, pg the future pg which you are all <laughs> going to be but in that scenario no never go for like ki directly go for a conclusion always look whole of the picture otherwise we are sometime like ki chote sa diagnosis mila we are happy about it and we haven't seen the rest of the thing that okay because i uh, remember one of my case in my residentship what happened i have seen mujhe bhi padha tha maine bhi ki sir pleural effusion hai ye hai wo hai i have just seen the patient and uh, like in this part there was homogeneous opacification and there was blunting of cp angle i was very happy ki sir pleural effusion hardly fifth or sixth day of my residentship because at that time i was also new for the radiology and what happened i just missed that that this patient that was a female patient and that patient have missing the left breast shadow that was an operated case of uh, ca breast and i have missed multiple findings of that but if once i would have seen that properly by the scheme ki okay i will do this 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 i wouldn't have missed that but let's see it's fine <laughs> okay <clears throat> oh sure uh jadeep ashok i'm uh, sure i will tell you that one okay so let's talk about this what is this okay what is this this is scapula okay this is scapula can you appreciate this okay now what we are looking at right now can you see that scapula are not in the full of the field they are like this they are outside so this is a pav okay this is how we are going to see now look at this what are these can you see these are the ribs these horizontal part these horizontal part are the posterior ribs posterior ribs are horizontal and when you follow these these are the horizontal ribs and when you are going anterior this is the anterior ribs because when the ribs arise they arise like this and anteriorly they go like this okay ribs are like this okay anteriorly they are angulated posteriorly they are like this okay horizontal so remember these are the posterior ribs okay now look at this can you see this shadow see this hypo hypo means black okay remember in radiology hypo means black hyper means white if i use a term hypo it means black hyper white see this ye dikh raha hai this can we follow this up to here what is this this is trachea why it is appearing black because it has air and air allow more amount of x rays so it will appear black simple now we can appreciate clavicle scapula ribs vertebras okay now look at this part what is this this is the heart shadow heart mein bhi kaun sa part hai this is aortic knob aortic knob ha huh. jaydeep has asked this question what is aortic knob uh in third slide you will get your answer by yourself okay and comment that you got your answer otherwise i will <laughs> ask you again <laughs> okay uh, can you appreciate this bifurcation can you see why this is important i am telling you about the trachea because it should be central in case if there is a pathology which is pulling the trachea or pushing the trachea or it's blocking the trachea okay anything could be possible so we should always look for that trachea should be central if it's not central we are getting a secondary hint that okay that could be the diagnosis okay something can come to our now let's look for this this is the left bronchus this is the bifurcation okay trachea aaya right bronchus left bronchus okay right bronchus left bronchus what are these these are the hyla okay these are the hyla okay 
वॉट इज दिस शेडो दिस इज द अटिक नॉक यहाँ पे आर्च ऑफ अयोटा है इट इज गोइंग डाउनवर्ड कैन यू सी दिस लाइन गोइंग दिस इज डिसेंडिंग अयोटा लिव इट इट्स नॉट दैट मच इम्पोर्टेंट नाउ लुक एट दिस वॉट आर दीज वॉट आर दीज दीज आर दैमी डायफ्राम right hemi diaphragm left hemi diaphragm and the air under the left hemi diaphragm which we are seeing is gastric air bubble don't get confused don't say ki sir it's air under diaphragm no this is not air under diaphragm okay that's why i'm saying remember the normal things this is right hemi diaphragm right hemi diaphragm ke niche liver okay so this is the basic anatomy what we are looking at now let's move to the next now look at this heart can you appreciate this so this right heart of border right border of heart sorry my bad <laughs> okay uh so can asd can be different detected by angiography yes it can be but angiography are of various type na ct angiography or directly dex then it can be detected but not by like angiography is a very broad term okay like coronary angiography is completely different ct angiography yes we can see okay but it's not an standard investigation to look for an asd okay uh, she's a uh, she's a white okay that is not a standard thing to look for asd okay that can be very well seen on echo angiography is not required for that angiography is like sort of looking for the vessel and their blockage okay and their course now look at this right heart border this right heart border can you appreciate it is made by the right atrium left ventricle this left border is made by the left ventricle this part is left ventricle when we go upward it will be the left atrium i will show you one more good image so that it could be uh it could be very easy for you to remember okay now look at these hyalas you can see bilateral hyalas and this part is formed by the superior vena cava you would be like sir kya bata rahe wait for a minute ha aortic arch that aortic knob is formed by the aortic arch and uske niche kya hota hai descending pulmonary artery dono ke beech mein thoda space hai some space so what we are going to call it aortic arch descending pulmonary artery have some space that will be called aorto pulmonary window not much important but just remember okay now look at this any confusion now this, this is what we called aortic oh sir what is hyla uh say ali chaudhary okay listen can you see okay this is heart okay right atrium so right atrium is forming the right heart when we go upward the upper right border is formed by the superior vena cava this is the aortic arch the lateral part is called aortic knob this is pulmonary artery okay like this is the heart these are the lungs okay can you see this part these vessels have to come outside okay to enter the like lung they have to enter vessels are there veins are there arteries veins and one more part bronchus so they come in enter towards the lung and that part is called hyla okay due to like this ki teen teen cheeze ek sath aa rahi hai to they appear given shadow when they enter the lung this is called hyla okay clear now next now this is what we are going to do how we are going to read an x ray so uh basically first thing we should keep in our mind is ki, okay what is patient's patient ka age kya hai some technical aspects we are we are going to discuss don't worry then two things could be done always go by the scheme okay always trust me trust me ki always go by the scheme either start reading like bachpan mein padhte hai na a b c d we make a thing like ki uh, sir mnemonic bana do then just remember, remember this mnemonic either go outside to inside means first look for the soft tissue okay look for the soft tissue ki okay soft tissue is normal soft tissue mein kya kya include hoga cutaneous subcutaneous tissue 
हो सकता है इट कुड बी पॉसिबल दैट देयर कुड बी एनी मास आउट देयर देन लुक फॉर द ब्रेस्ट शेडो ओके टू लुक फॉर एनी मास आफ्टर दैट गू फॉर द बोन्स लुक ईच एंड एवरी बोन ओके लिसन यू आर मोस्ट प्रोबली यू ऑल आर एमबीबीएस स्टूडेंट्स so it's not like you are your exam after 10 to 15 days so why not you get that habit from the starting okay ki sir ne bola hai ye dekhenge it it's not like that ki aapko ye finding dikh gayi ki sir ye to dikh raha hai mujhe nahi that is not important it's not like ki 100 mein se 90 time aapne sahi cheez pakda hai that is not important important is that one that Ten findings that are more important because you can't miss these kind of things, na. So just try ki aaj se when you start practicing, na. When I was a PG, I was on the first day. My teachers told me this: go each and every X-ray by this scheme only. One day you will look at an X-ray, you find it. Okay. So just try to develop your habit. Okay. Uh, comment if you are able to understand, please, uh, because I am also like a bit bored now. <laughs> Kindly comment if you are able to get this radiology thing. I know radiology is a bit boring, black and white subject, but it's fine. Okay. So first, we are going to look for the cutaneous, subcutaneous tissue, breast tissue, soft tissue. Then we are going to look for the. Kindly comment. I am looking at your comments. I will get to know. Okay, okay, you guys are able to understand some. Now look at the scapula. Look at the bones. Look for the clavicle. Don't miss any fracture, and look for the spinous process if it's possible. Now, if we are done with cutaneous, subcutaneous tissue, bones. Now look for these. These are the lung. Take a lung parenchyma. Then look for the uh, diaphragm, heavy diaphragm, hemi diaphragms. Look for both hemi diaphragms. Kindly look at this. Okay, there is an angle. What is this angle? Just, just think about it. We called it costo CP angle. We name it CP angle. Do you know what we call diaphragm in normal diaphragm? Ki supply bhi kis se hoti? Any diaphragmatic nerve hoti? No, it's always phrenic. Use the word phrenic. So, and for ribs we use the word costo. So, what we are going to call it costo phrenic angle CP angle. Why it is important? Just think about it. I am standing like this. Any patient is standing like this. Any person is standing like this. What if there is some fluid? Okay, lungs, lungs ke bahar pleura, visceral pleura, parietal pleura. Two layer, two no layer ke beech mein fluid. What if the patient is standing? Where will be the fluid go? That will go to the most dependent part. And in standing, this is the most dependent part on PAV. Just remember that. PAV, okay, PAV. So these CP angles are important to look for the pleural effusion. Okay. So what we will do? We will look for the bones. After that, we will look for the lungs, and we will look for diaphragm, and then CP angles. Now, in the end, we are going outer to inner. Okay. Now, wait for a second. Hmm. Now, we have to look for the heart. Okay. We have to look for the bodies of heart if they are properly visualized or are they slouted? Anything related to pathology, then we will look for the hyla, look for the trachea, and that's how you are going to look for an X-ray. Take it. This should be your scheme. Go from bones to upside. Bones, soft tissue, below diaphragm, hidden areas, lung, hilum. Just make your own way. Okay, okay. I'm going to look this first, this first, this first. Okay. Now. Let's go. Okay, uh, students. Uh, as we all know, that uh, some tough things are going on. Like for the students of Ukraine and even other part of the world, our students are there. So, as we know, that their studies are getting hampered. Even multiple other students are also being hampered. Studies are hampered due to Corona and other issues. So what we have next to what we have done, we have started a new initiative where we are giving the complete access to next to app for three months at just eighty nine rupees. Okay, it is for the humanity. It is for the good of the students because tough times never last, but medicals will do. Okay, so joining hands.
it will <laughs> or helping hand plan will help everyone okay so kindly ask even tell your everyone to subscribe and join this at next lo we are working for everything like so we are working really hard to especially for the fmg preparations and especially for the students which are actually in the mbbs right now we are working for them also okay kindly tell your okay one second okay subscribe to next lo now let's go our next up uh before going like for anything now let's talk about few technical aspects why it is always there ki you must have seen like multiple times you must have seen x rays but why it is always there ki some x rays looks very good some x rays looks very bad how it is possible that something could be missed on x ray because it could be possible like after a year or two you are sitting in the emergency and you should know about it because if anything got missed you have to save your skin so let's talk about this being a doctor we should know this first is rotation okay uh it, it's very simple if we draw a line like this okay on an x ray if we draw a line by looking at this spinous process the, you can see these vertebras look at this one these are called the spinous process on ap if we join them make a line called interspinous line we have to look for the distance from medial end of clavicle it should be equi distance this is the medial end of clavicle this is the medial end of clavicle this is the spinous process it should be equal why if i am standing like this okay film is out here so when my axle will come it should be equi distance okay so that i can see both of the sides of both of the sides of the lung what happen if a patient is rotated like this what will happen that the heart will also get like this and the lung behind that part will be obscure what if there was a cancer out there there was some pathology out there just due to this reason you missed that so always you should know about this as a student that you should know ki okay this x x uh, technical aspect it is rotated or not we can ask for the repeat now let's go for the next this is called penetration why it is important because sometime you must have seen ki some x rays are looking good some are very white some are very black why this is happening this is because due to lack of penetration or over penetration dekh uh, think about this word over penetration over exposed more amount of x rays given why it is important like i am uh, a big guy or a very thin guy theek hai a big guy a very thin guy think about that if same amount of x ray given to the both is it is it right to give that why because for the thin guy more amount of x rays are given all of the x rays are going to reach okay so in that case the x ray will be black so that is called over exposure what if the amount required for the thin guy given to a big guy okay or any fatty patient what will happen the rays will not able to penetrate that patient so what will happen less amount of x rays will reach and it will appear white so let's understand this with an example look at this x ray can you appreciate anything i am not even able to see the lungs properly they are appearing all black so why it is happening because this is over penetrated film more amount of x rays given okay more amount of x ray is given so more amount of x rays are reaching to the film so we are not even able to see now let's move to the next look at this this is looking like white after this class you would be like ki sir ye dekhiye pneumonia i would be like ki bhai under penetration okay always remember that always look for the penetration otherwise you are going to miss diagnosis okay don't get bored if anybody have any doubt you can ask me on youtube okay any doubt you can ask me it's fine now one more thing is inspiration i have told you on the phs view that inspiration is important because some part of the lung could be obscured if if like just just have a look can you see these posterior ribs 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay up to 9 or 10 at this point if 9 or 10 are there it's a good inspiration now look at uh, wait for a second okay hmm. look at this one 
So this is called good inspiration. If nine or ten posterior ribs are visible, this is a good inspiration. Okay. If like poor inspiration would be there, the diaphragm would be up to this level. What will happen to this part of the lung? There could be possible that there could be some malignancy, some issue could be there, and we will not able to see that. Okay, so full inspiration is always advised. Now next, now we have talked about this trachea. Oh, remember this one, the carinal. Angle. What is the carinal angle? Can you see this? Just wait for it. Can you see this trachea? Okay. It is 25 mm in males, 21 mm in females. Now look at this. This is dividing right, mean left. There is an angle in between that is called carinal angle. It is 60 to 75 degree. Now, sometimes when you will see, it will be widened. A widened angle. This is like this is the normal carinal angle. There must be something which is pushing. If there is a mass out here, it's pushing. So then that's why its angle will be increased now. Because something is out here which is pushing, or something is out here which is pulling. That could be the only possibility. Agar angle hai, to ya to koi pull kar rahe hai, or push kar rahe. Due to only that it could. This kind of thing can happen. So let's look. First is lymphadenopathy. If there is a lymph node out there, it is pushing. Tracheal malignancy. Malignancy can do anything. Mediastinal tumor, same thing. This is the mediastinum. Like heart, where, listen, don't get confused to what is mediastinum. Whatever you are looking at this, no, this whole white part is mediastinum. Okay. There are lungs. In between, there is mediastinum of which heart is also a part. Okay? This is mediastinum. When heart is the anterior part, so we call it heart and mediastinum. Baki, this whole part is called mediastinum. Heart is a part of it. Okay? Now, mediastinitis, pleural effusion, normal carinal angle. That's fine. Now, next thing, CT ratio. We have talked about it, ki, uh, how we are going to look for the cardiomegaly. CT ratio, what we do, the maximum transverse thickness, okay, this maximum transverse thickness, can you see this maximum transverse thickness along with the maximum transverse thickness of the heart, like this part and this part. We draw a line in the middle, an in interspinous region. And we get the maximum out here and maximum out here. So A plus B upon C plus D. Simple. Now, it should not be more than 0.5. Under 0.5, it's normal, but only on PA view. Because I have told you on AP view, the heart appears magnified. Okay. So on PA view, if the ratio is more than 0.5, it means the heart is enlarged. There is cardiomegaly. Okay. And for neonates, and because in neonates, the ratio does vary a bit. So 0.6, we keep it out there. And even on AP view, if it's more than 0 0.6, then we can call it because that 0 0.1 range, we are taking it for the magnification. Okay. Now, look for the diaphragms. These are fine. And then we have to look for the pleura. Uh, you will be asked, sir, pleura mein kya hoga? this outer part is the part where we can see the pleura. We have to look for any calcification, for any air, any fluid, any thickening. Okay. How it does look, we will talk about it. Okay. Now, let's go. Costophrenic angle, we have talked about it. Okay. They should be acute and well defined. Okay. Now, bones, we have to look for the vertebra clavicles, ribs, scapula, and sternum. Sternum, this part. On lateral view, you can appreciate this. Okay. This part is sternum. Okay. Can you say this? And this part is called retrosternal part. Okay. Retrosternal part. Let's move to the next thing. Now, we have talked 
like basically i have told you what we are going to see and what is this that now let's take a sort of some interesting part where what we are going to do the important thing is not like we are going to solve any mcq that is not the purpose the purpose is we are going to go by the scheme we are going and then we are going to answer just by our concepts you have not seen these images in my class i haven't shown you these images i'm directly taking you to the questions we are just going to solve this just by our knowledge what we have learned about it okay now don't kindly don't answer just go by the flow then i will ask you to answer this question okay now look at this image first of all what is this what is the view can you see the scapulas can you see this horizontal rib so this is a pa chest view first thing done now first what we are going to do we are going to look for the outer soft tissue they are appearing normal we are going to look for the bones they are appearing normal bilateral cp angles appearing normal heart appearing normal borders are appearing normal but there is a issue out here okay there is a issue out here that something is near to the left upper heart border okay this is fine now look at this right lung parenchyma and this left lung parenchyma what is the difference out here here we can see these uh, lung vessels can we see and here it is completely black so we know that lung is black we don't know yet what is the diagnosis Here. Look at the left side. Okay. Look at the left side. White is appearing more black, and there is no underlying vessel. So, just think why it is appearing more black. Okay. Just answer this question. I am waiting for you. What is happening? Why this lung appearing more black than the normal lung? what had happened out here something had replaced the lung with something which appeared black answer me i am waiting so the reason it's uh, should i answer wait for your answer come on hmm mudit soni yes opacity is a denser material okay anuj sharma air yes it is the lung is replaced by the air so it is appearing black and when lung is replaced by air what is happening the pleural cavity is filled with air okay so it is appearing black as more x ray is penetrating more x ray is reaching the film so what will be the diagnosis first option now let's just look at the options okay some have uh, 4 3 3 okay you will the uh, abscess okay let's talk about it first is lung abscess oh, sorry lung abscess to so, lung abscess doesn't appear like this okay first of all it involves the lung parenchyma and will make an dense white part okay now look at the third option pneumo thorax it means pneumo means air and thorax means there is a air between pleural cavities okay this pleural cavity is filled with the air so answer will be pneumo thorax pleural effusion some students are marking pleural effusion bachcho water will be white than the air it will appear white okay water comparatively dense hai na it will appear white okay this much is pleural effusion because due to <laughs> so, okay due to air it is appearing black so this is called pneumo thorax look at the name pneumo air thorax air se replace hua and what is this part what is this this is the remaining part of the lung देखो, दिस इज द कैपेसिटी लाइक दिस इज द लंग कैपेसिटी दे आर लाइक द बलून 
एयर इज आउटसाइड और एयर आया और एयर आया देन लंग विल बी लाइक कोलैप्स्ड सो दिस इज द कोलैप्स्ड लंग व्हिच इज लाइंग आउट हियर ठीक है एयर है आउटसाइड एयर है इट इज प्रेसिंग एंड दिस इज व्हाट वी आर लुकिंग एट ओके दिस इज द कंप्रेस्ड लंग नाउ लुक एट दिस वन हियर द पेशेंट इज प्रेजेंटेड विद फीवर रेडियोलॉजिकल ऑफ एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ द पेशेंट इज एज फॉलोस now think about it look at this x ray properly theek hai i am i am going to chalo i am giving you a minute just think about it right pleural effusion right pneumothorax right lung abscess right hydro pneumothorax these are your four options now start start giving answers i am waiting okay uh mudit soni phone number okay let's discuss diagnosis is not important important is our approach okay now look what we had learned we looked for the soft tissue we looked for the bones we looked for the heart we are saying ki okay right hemidiaphragm nahi dikh raha hai right cp angle blunt so blunting of cp angle kahan hota hai when there is fluid so we are like ki sir there is fluid okay we are i am fine with this ki okay there is some fluid this is why there is a level fluid level bana hua hai cp angle are not visualized diaphragm is not visualized so this is a pleural effusion this part but when i am looking at this part again the same thing is happening yahan pe left side mein there is lung parenchyma here again that part no lung parenchyma no blood vessel nothing and this is the collapse part some part is also lying out here so what is happening so this is pneumothorax but there is pneumothorax there is also pleural effusion so what we should name it we should name it hydro pneumothorax there is water hydro there is air pneumo in the thorax so we are going to call it hydro pneumothorax okay jab air thi kya bola tha pneumothorax water hota hai kya bolte hain pleural effusion dono hai to हाइड्रोन्यूमोथोरेक्सिंग विथ chest pain and breathlessness radiological examination of patient is as follows you must be thinking ki sir pathology is padhai nahi dekho ratta marne se koi matlab nahi okay what we are doing here is that we are clearing our concepts for like next many years we are never going to look back ki sir x ray mein aisa kyu hota you will be like ha sir ne bola tha aisa hota isliye hota theek hai we are going to build the concepts now look what we are looking out here we are going to look for the bone subcutaneous tissue okay bones are fine heart shadow dekha trachea is somewhat out here what is this what is happening out here is there any pneumothorax no we can see this we can appreciate this okay we can appreciate this ki both side do have the lung पेरेंट कैमल मैम सॉरी वेसल्स वी आर एबल टू सी की ओके दीज आर द सी बट वट इज है देर इज नो सी पी एंगल ओके देर इज नो हेमीडाफ्राम राइट हार्ट बॉर्डर इज ऑल्सो ऑब्सक्योर अलॉन्ग विद इट इज फॉर्मिंग ए लेवल एंड यू कैन सी इट्स गोइंग अपवर्ड्स आउट हेयर कैन यू सी दिस इट्स गोइंग अपवर्ड्स तो ऐसा क्या है जो ऊपर जा रहा है दिस इज फ्लूड this is pleural effusion this obliteration of cp angle theek hai obliteration of hemi diaphragm right heart border and the fluid is tracking upwards it 
is the fluid diffusion. Okay. So oh, very good. Students are given giving very right answers. Very good students. Proud moment for me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Since we are done with it, contain fluid. Very good. Good answers. Well done. Now, look at this. A patient came in emergency with abdominal pain, severe abdominal pain. Now, look at this x-ray and just tell me okay, what could be the abnormal part of it. Okay, just, just think about it. Why it is important? Patient came with abdominal pain. We are taking a chest radiograph. We are looking at this. We have to look for the lungs. We have to look for the bones. But I have told you, make a ski. We have to look for the liver. We have to look for the gastric bubble also. Just think about it. So what I'm getting, okay, okay. Uh, now, now answer this question. Few students are late. <laughs> now look at this one. And tell me, I'm waiting. So look at this X-ray. What is happening out here? We, we will go by this. Cutaneous, subcutaneous tissue. We look for the bones. All are looking fine. We look for the lung parenchyma. Lung parenchyma appearing normal. Right side appearing a bit raised compared to this. And right heart border appearing okay. Left heart border, hilal. What is happening out here? Is it normal? Anybody can tell? Okay. Mudita. Okay. Try it, right? Okay. Look at this. Is it normal? What is this? Basically, it is appearing black under the diaphragm. Why there is something black under the diaphragm? What what did it just tell? This part of suit is this part is liver. Okay. What is happening due to any reason? Due to any reason, if there is air in peritoneum, okay, we keep the patient standing for some time. So what happened? The air just go up, okay, just go up because it has to be on the top. So the free air which is in the peritoneum, a free air ka by either there is an perforation, either due to injury, perforation of any ulcer, due to an infection, any trauma, okay. Due to any of these reasons, there is a free air and this is in standing X-ray. Okay, this is in standing X-ray. So what will happen? We will see the air under diaphragm, right home of diaphragm. Ke niche. But you, ye diaphragm. Few students are saying, ki, sir, uh, lots of fluid. But you, ye fluid nahi hai. this is the part of liver. This is the part of liver. This is hemidiaphragm. This upper layer is the Hemidiaphragm, it is raised due to the air in between. That's why we are calling it right, sorry, um, air under right hemidiaphragm. And what is the sign, important finding? This is will be seen in pneumoperitoneum. Okay? So this is air under diaphragm. Um, Jadeep nahi bache, effusion nahi hai, bohat minimal hoga, but this is due to as the diaphragm is raised, that's why we are getting an impression of plural effusion. This is not plural effusion, okay? Anyone else? Okay. Now, uh, please uh, tell difference between abscess and effusion. But of abscess and effusion are completely different thing. Liver abscess will have multiple findings which will be different. I will show you in our next one, okay? Now, this is the question of the day. A 35-year-old patient come to hospital for regular health check. What is your diagnosis? Now, this is the question of the day. I'm, I'm waiting for the students who is going to answer me for this. Is it a pneumothorax, pneumoperitoneum? Is it a liver abscess? It's a chiladip syndrome. Hmm. Just think about it. What is happening out here? We have to go how you all always do. We are going to look for the bones. We are going to look for the parenchyma. Okay, there is something out here. What is happening out here? This is the right hemidiaphragm. Okay, this is right hemidiaphragm. Is it air under diaphragm? 
ये राइट हैंड है यहां पे लीवर है यहां पे होता है लीवर ओके एंड वी आर एबल टू सी ओके फ्यू स्टूडेंट्स आर मार्किंग द राइट आंसर फ्यू आर स्टिल कंफ्यूज लिसन सी द डिफरेंस दिस इज लीवर दिस इज एयर अंडर राइट हैंड डायफ्राम लुक एट दिस दिस इज समथिंग हाइपो अंडर द डायफ्राम बट कैन यू सी दैट लुक एट द हिस्ट्री पेशेंट केम टू हॉस्पिटल फॉर रेगुलर हेल्थ चेकअप और ये देखिए ये क्या है ये है बॉवल सो दिस इज बेसिकली अ बॉवल विच इज प्लेस अंडर द डायफ्राम एंड लीवर इन बिटवीन डायफ्राम एंड लीवर ओके सो वॉट इट इज कॉल्ड दिस इज अ वेरी नॉर्मल वेरियंट दिस इज नॉट न्यूमोथोरैक्स ठीक है डोंट गेट कंफ्यूज दिस इज न्यूमोथर न्यूमो पैरिटोनियम सॉरी This is pneumoperitoneum, air under right hemi diaphragm. This is a bowel loop. Can you see this? Can you see this? These are the bowel loops. Okay. So a normal bowel loop is lying between the diaphragm and the liver. This is called Chilaiditi syndrome. Okay. So students, thank you very much. I hope you all have enjoyed this. Oh, multiple students have answered this. Okay. appreciate it on our next lecture whenever it will going to happen we will discuss many more pathologies best of luck students for your own classes your on your upcoming exams and thanks to nextilo to provide us such good platform thanks special thanks to dr sunil dr nirbhay so uh, and special request to everyone kindly subscribe to nextilo okay thank you thank you everyone.